We are standing in the White House of the Confederacy, uh, which is a part of the American Civil War Museum. Uh, this is the home that uh, Jefferson Davis and his family lived in during the American Civil War while Davis was president of the Confederacy. Uh, Jefferson Davis had a military background and he wanted to be close to the action. Uh, he felt that Virginia looked like a, a good spot for that. So that played a role as well. Jefferson Davis wanting to be close to what was happening in the war. So all of these things played a role in the decision to come to Richmond. The Davises never owned this home. The Confederate government never owned the home. It was owned throughout the Civil War uh, by the city of Richmond. Right now we're standing in what Mrs. Davis called the state dining room. Uh, certainly this is where the Davises held a lot of formal functions and meals, things like that. Uh, but the table behind me, which is the original table, it was here in the house during the war, uh, is actually set for a meeting. Uh, another thing that the Confederate government never had a chance to build was a Capitol building or a state house. Uh, so this home becomes sort of a hub for government activity. Uh, and so meetings were held in this room. There are parlors on this floor as well. Again, places where uh, people were entertained during the war. Pretty much any significant figure you can think of from the Confederate government or the Confederate military spent time uh, at events in this house during the war. And a lot of those happened in the two parlors. There is a small room that was probably intended to be an office for the gentleman of the house, but the Davises used it as a library. And this is a space where Jefferson Davis had private meetings. Uh, Robert E. Lee was in this house probably dozens of times during the war, uh, but we know of a couple of private meetings that Jefferson Davis had with General Lee uh, in that small library uh, room. Uh, the upstairs we know a bit less about, uh, but uh, we know that Jefferson Davis had a home office on the second floor, not his primary office. He did have a, an executive office on Bank Street about four blocks south of us, but he did occasionally work in the home and so he did set up a less formal home office uh, in the house. Uh, there is a master bedroom, if you will, that he and Mrs. Davis shared. And then also upstairs there is a nursery where the children lived uh, while the Davises were here in the house. I think it's a terrific thing for people to come and see. I think it's an important uh, place in American history. Uh, the Civil War is certainly a turning point uh, in the war. And I think everybody ought to come by and, and see it and learn a little bit about uh, what happened here uh, during that war and, and why it was significant.